Okay guys, in this video we're going to be taking another look at Elrond and the e-gold coin. And there's a lot been going on most recently with the price action of the e-gold token. So we're going to be getting into that and seeing exactly how things are forming here. We've had a bit of a break to the upside. Um, and obviously we are going to be testing some significant areas of support and resistance. So I thought it was important to just give you a brief update onto how this one is performing so far. Guys, as always, if you find it useful, do hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And of course, if you're new, do go ahead and subscribe. And when doing so, make sure you hit the bell, tap on all, and you won't miss any more videos from Cheeky Crypto. Right, with that said, let's, um, let's take a look at what is going on. Obviously, you can see that the most recent few days, we've had a good push to the upside, retesting some key areas of support and another push today. Um, so obviously, as we go through the volume on here, you can see how the volume was actually starting to increase. So good sentiment here for eGold. And again, this is aligned to what we talk about when uh, we have a look at the EVI dashboard. And um, so we'll just jump over to Elrond here really briefly. We did this uh, on the stream last night. Um, and again, the expectations um, last night were actually to trade sideways for a little bit. Um, that obviously seems to be the, the opposite of what's going on, right? So from a fear and greed index point of view, we're up at A1, okay? An A1 rating for, for fear and greed index when Bitcoin and Ethereum are all rated D is quite unusual. So there is little fear here for Elrond and the e-gold coin, according to the artificial intelligence from EVI. And again, when we actually take a look at the chart, you can see just how spot on accurate it was yesterday with uh, with actually saying things were looking pretty good for e-gold and um, to, to potentially continue this motion to the upside now what you can see if we zoom on in here on this daily chart for efl rund is uh, the volume right we can obviously see the volumes are smaller than they have been previously but the sentiment change has been has been here right we see there's an increase in volume when it comes to purchasing and every time there's a, a bit of a, a dip here we can see that there was a decrease most recently just here now obviously we had this motion to the downside right and once that was happening there was an increase in um selling pressure right so this sentiment here was quite fearful and then we saw that shift and change um, basically in the last couple of days when we had this motion to the upside and we can see that the sentiment has completely shifted as way well, uh, as well because ultimately when we we're pushing up over here the volume didn't do anything it stayed pretty flat and the only spikes that we were seeing were selling volume so that sentiment was basically fear and more fear but now we're seeing actually good greed volume coming in here and good greed sentiment right so we're seeing good volume coming in pushing the price to the upside and we're going to be testing some key areas now on our chart now this is the daily and right now we have a 55 on the relative strength index so a pretty reasonable good position there for the relative strength index and e-gold and obviously when we zoom out we can see what happened previously with these fantastic high areas that we're pushing up to before so uh, on this particular run during wave three we saw um you know a good push to the upside and we could see that we were up right up in this area here for a very significant amount of time an unusual amount where you know ultimately we were looking for this correction to come in it did come in and it came and brought the price all the way down to that 64 um dollar area and obviously this has held quite well until recently and then obviously from there we've had that catalyst to the push to the upside so right now uh, a 55 on this chart is good and we know that we can come up here and sustain being up in this overbought area for quite some time for e-gold here and um, so again we do want to see good volume in order for that to happen on this daily chart but things are lining up pretty well so the question then becomes when you take a look at our daily chart here uh, sorry our week uh, our hourly chart if i can get my words out um, we can actually see the how well this is kind of had a push through because when we were in here yesterday we were expecting a bit of a pullback as we were over bought here and actually what you saw happen was actually we came right down into this area a slight pullback and then pushed right on up now when we throw that volume back on you can see what happened here uh, with the volume right we're pushing right up to this area um just here just before we got this breakup event and um, we can see that we had a little bit of selling pressure but that selling pressure guys was basically decreasing volume that stabilized the price whilst getting us right into this area here again buying volume came right back in and obviously we saw to start to see a, you know, a stabilization just up here and, and ultimately what that meant was because the volumes were low and was mixed between buying and selling i.e keeping the price up in this band we saw the relative strength index actually drop all the way down here so other than a few pockets of uh, of selling volume we actually got a, a good test area here and basically held this really really well keeping this nice and trading low and um, with that low volume 
meant that ultimately it didn't take much good positive volume to come in to push that price to the upside. Now, what you can see over here is that real good key volume coming in, right? This is a good volume. And ultimately that pushed this price right back up again and found this upper band just here. Now, obviously, as we cut to this point, we saw only a little bit of uh, selling pressure that was significant. Other than that, the volumes dropped right down, correcting us right back into being, you know, uh, just below that overbought area. And again, this is what we saw over here. This is being repeated right here. So the expectations could be that we start to see an increase in volume again. And obviously it would be interesting to see if this does happen um, because at the moment the volumes are still decreasing. But we need to, if we need to see that volume increase, if it does, we'll go right back up into our overbought area and we'll continue this push to the upside. If that volume stays down nice and low, then ultimately we might test some of these lower bound areas here whilst giving us another correction on the hourly before pushing right back up again with some good volume. So this seems to be like a rinse repeat scenario. This is something that we saw previously when we shoot all the way back here, we can see how we're just basically just constantly repeating the process, pushing the price up, dropping it down, pushing the price up, dropping it down and so forth, right? You saw this with the volume. Now, when that volume was coming in like that, we saw significant price discovery because we were basically coming in and out of this area all the time. Um, and ultimately that was allowing us to stabilize, push up, stabilize, push up, stabilize and push up. Um, and again, if that is where eGold is in that cycle right now, this could be a real interesting recovery for the Elrond coin. Um, so what we're gonna quickly do here is just show you some of those key areas for us. So right now there is an interesting area right here. Okay, so this is our upper bound area, right? This is where we're gonna start seeing resistance. So right now we're actually a little bit lower than this. So I will just drop it down to about here. And this actually comes in with our previous areas over here on the left-hand side. So right now we have know that there's an upper bound area here of resistance that we've hit. Now what we wanna do is also find where our support lines are likely to be. We can see that this here is our support line. Uh, again, this is where we found uh, major resistance here, retesting it, falling back down a little bit short, and then obviously breaking through, finding the upper resistance up at $93, and then coming back down, retesting our $89 range as support line that was previously resistance. Now, obviously we're looking if we can get that volume increase and again, another breakthrough up here with a back test on $93 as a support line could be an interesting tell. And it would allow us to then continue our discovery um, pushing it further forward. Now, we don't wanna to take too many of these bite-sized chunks, but we could start to see some interesting areas get hit. So there's $103, that's probably a tad too high in one jump. So there's 99 as well. Um, I'm gonna just mark up a few of these guys to keep us on our toes. So right away, we can see that there are some interesting zones, right? If we do this rinse repeat scenario, on this hourly chart, we could actually have a break up here into this area here, break up, break down, break up, break down, break up. Okay, and that could be the, the motion that we see with eGold to push the price um, a little bit higher. Now guys, obviously um, Bitcoin is currently leading the market. So it's important that we do acknowledge that whatever happens here with Elrond will be you know, a direct representation of what happens here when it comes to Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin currently riding up this line, which our expectations are to go to that 40K area, um, you know, or, or potentially just up towards this area here at about 38K, um, ultimately this could be an interesting tell before we have a pullback. And if that is the case, then I would anticipate that eGold and Elrond here would also follow that suit, would push up a little bit before pulling down and continuing that growth of recovery. And again, as we kind of mentioned yesterday on our stream, um, we are still talking about significant price discovery um, going further forward for Elrond. So when we go ahead and throw this down, uh, assuming that we've actually had our lowest point now, um, ultimately, we are talking about moving up to our first price target, which hasn't really changed too much over the months, but is about $365. After that, we are talking about $558. After that, $751, and that will be followed by $870. So there's some significant price discovery to be had with Elrond. Um, personally, I feel that uh, you know a nice comfortable zone is going to be somewhere between the 550 and 750 range. Um, and that'll be a pretty good, interesting point. But obviously, depending on what your exit strategies are, uh, obviously I'm not a financial advisor, but my exit strategies would be to basically be setting on the way up. Um, pretty basic, I know, but there's some key areas here on this journey to the upside that I would be um, focusing in on. I wouldn't be holding out for um, a thousand dollar e-gold or $2,000, $10,000 e-gold, not this cycle. I would be keeping some reserves in the tank just in case those scenarios do crop up, but I would be selling and locking in some profits on the way up to those uh, specific price targets that we've just spoken about. Um, and of course, long-term guys, talking about 2025, 
um, you know, 2030, then I think Elrond uh, is going to see significant growth, that it is going to be a significant player in the space. And uh, these prices will seem incredibly cheap in the future, in my opinion. Um, so again, uh, some of you might be just thinking, I'll just hodl all my way through dollar cost average better positions over the next five years. And I think that would also be a pretty sound way to go as well. I do intend on dollar cost averaging during the bear market on eGold and building up a very solid position into the next bull run as well. Um, so guys, hopefully you found this brief update on Elrond useful and informative. If you have, definitely do go ahead and give me a like. I really appreciate that. Of course, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell, tap on all, and you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free. You'll stay well informed. So why not? With that said, done and out of the way, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one.